I'm 43 years old and my dad still does things that surprise me. A few weeks ago, right after I moved into my new home, my dog Rudy, who is losing his vision, slipped and fell into our swimming pool. His lungs were filled with so much water, he had to be placed in an oxygen incubator for two days. Those were probably among the worst two days of my life. Not only was I worried that Rudy wouldn't make it, I felt like the worst dog mom on the planet. After leaving Rudy at the animal hospital, I came home and did anything I could to distract myself and there was a bunch of furniture that needed to be assembled, so I went outside and began putting together a swinging patio chair. Within minutes, my father, who normally spends most of his time on the couch, joined me. He didn't say a word. Instead, he studied the diagram and picked up the pieces, held them upright so I could screw them together, and then he tightened all the screws with the screwdriver after I finished. Afterwards, he walked back inside, didn't say anything about Rudy, how it would all be alright. He didn't even sit in the chair we built together. Rudy came home a couple days later, better than ever. My father left for home the next day. I was surprised to find myself crying as I watched his car disappear around the bend.